Hey, it's Kilobyte here. Um, hope everybody's having a great Thanksgiving this holiday, 2013. Um, got a uh, Ruger LCP. Uh, I've put about 50 rounds through it, and with the uh, full metal jacket, it's been solid, no jams, uh, solid loading, feeding, everything's great. However, with the uh, self-defense loads that have uh, like a rubber tip, um, I've not had a pr I've not shot them yet because when I would hand load, uh, unless the feeding ramp, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, is got fresh oil on it, they would jam up on the feeding ramp. And this is kind of a common thing with LCPs that haven't been shot that much. If you've, you know, shot 400, 500 rounds of the uh, full metal jacket, it's probably polished the ramp uh, in doing that, which would allow it to feed a little better. But uh, today what I want to do is I'm going to take some uh, um, either like Mother's Mag and aluminum polish that I, ha that I have here or the Eagle One uh, Never Doll. You can use, generally you should... Most people recommend using uh, Flitz. It's a jewelry polish. It's real fine, and you can polish it with that, but I don't have any of that, so I'm going to use some of the car stuff I happen to have. And to start with, what we'll do is uh, we will uh, break down the gun to where we can get to the feeding ramp. All right, so the first thing you want to do is just like field stripping it to uh, clean it. Uh, you, what you'll do is you'll push back, and these things, you know, always check, make sure it's clear. No magazine in here. It's clear. Um, one of the first things the, to clean them, you want to slide, slide it back. And these things are a little difficult. They're so it's they're small, and it's got a pretty good sl uh, spring on it. What you'll do, slide it back, just maybe a eighth of an inch at the most. And I don't want to scratch it. This thing's pretty new. I'm going to take and slide that under the pin. I hope I'm getting this. And then pop it loose. Pop it out. Don't break it. It's, it I think it's just plastic. Um, but that's how you'll pop it out. And uh, set it over to the side. That frees up your slide. Bring it forward. Got your uh, spring. Pull that out. That releases the barrel. And there you are. Just like if you were going to clean it. And you see, I got it nice. You know, it's nice and oily right now. All right. And what? It, I'll try to see if I can get this. This is your feed ramp right here, and you can see possibly that mine has some wear, but it's just like 50 rounds. I'm hoping that'll show up on the video. And what we're going to do is I'm going to dry the oil off, and uh, and these things would, with the when they're oily, these things would uh, most of the time feed uh, just by hand doing it. Uh, but uh, when that oil, if it's, the oil is gone, it'll uh, quit. So I'm going to dry that oil off, and then I'm going to uh, probably use some Mother's uh, Mag and Aluminum Polish. It's pretty uh, uh, fine. You don't want to use anything that's uh, real gritty. You want it nice and fine. Um, and like I said, that uh, flits. Uh, polish is probably, uh, you know, that's what most people recommend and use, but I don't have any, so we're going to uh, use the uh, aluminum polish. All right, so after look, reviewing my options, uh, I'm going to go with the Eagle One Never Dull. It's a uh, wadding polish, and it uh, cleans and polishes all metals, including silver, gold, brass, copper, uh, you know, some really uh, soft stuff. So that's what I'm going to go with. And we'll just take 
a little bit of this off. Okay. <laughs> that was a phone call to see if I wanted to go shooting. Amazing. Um, and yes, because I'd love to test this thing, and I will let you know how it works out. So I'm taking the uh, uh, this polish, and I'm just polishing the feed ramp. That's all it is. Not you know, it's a uh, it's awful small, but uh, get it down in there so that it. Uh, and I hope I'm seeing the center, like so. Get that thing nice and polished. I mean, I can see the difference already. That is nice and polished. That will help your feeding. And uh, you know, it's it's uh, you know, some guns need to be broken in more than others. And uh, you know, this is one that if you want to shoot uh, the uh, hollow points, more self-defense that aren't full metal. And like I said, and these things are rubber on the front. And what that would happen is the rubber would catch. But right now, wow, that is just sliding nicely right in. I, I think that that'll be awesome. I think any any potential feeding problems are eliminated. And again, I had I I've not. Uh, actually had a feeding problem uh, with it when shooting because uh, I actually haven't shot any of the self-defense just the round nose and uh, full metal jackets and, uh, it, and it was just the uh, hand uh, cycling it that I had the problem with the uh, self-defense loads so I think this will definitely this will help for sure and I'd be willing to bet that this this will resolve any feeding issues that I might have had um, and will definitely help with the break-in. You know, this is one of the break-in parts of this gun, uh, is this feeding ramp getting worn in. So I will continue to uh, polish that a little more, and then we'll put it back together. All right, so there's the finished product. That thing is smooth. I mean, there's a cloth. It is just oh, nice and smooth. It is awesome. And so now I'm just wiping it off, making sure there's nothing, you know, no uh, pieces from the wadding. Looks good. And putting it back together is just the opposite of how we took it out. You slide the uh, barrel in, slide your spring. Like so. All right. Well, this thing is easy to put together. So, there. pin. Push it back just a little bit. And you can tell that I am new at this one because. Let's see. Right there is where you can, if you look in it, you'll see where it's, uh, and right there is the proper amount because there's a little, if you look in the hole, you'll see where it goes up a little bit. And uh, there, slide it. There we go. Now it's all together. I guarantee you these things will cycle through solid. And that was just after the polishing. There was no oil on it at all. So if you ever have any sort of feed problems, just polish that ramp. And on a new gun like this one, I recommend polishing that ramp, getting it nice and smooth so you don't have any feed issues. Because uh, it's a great gun. Um, I am looking at getting some, uh, some kind of grip. For, uh, my wife likes it. Um, but it, for me, it's just a little, it's very thin, which you want for carrying, but the, uh, it is very, very thin, so I'd like a little more substance to it, but we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, or comment if you find it helpful, so it'll actually show up in the YouTube search results. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.